So guys, Shadow of War is coming out soon. And what better way to celebrate Shadow of War than to punch T in the face. <laughs> if I had to think of a better to, way. Also to play Shadow of War. Right. But first punch you in Which the face. Which that one first. Yeah, exactly. Mainly then, for the views. Then we'll play. Right. You wanted to talk a lot during the opening cutscene, and I said, Shut the hell up. That is not what happened. You should be quiet. This is an important story. Everyone cares about... Woo! Shadow of War! <laughs> cast the spell, Harry Potter! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> so, we're gonna shut up during the opening cutscene, maybe make the occasional joke about how the guy has old man syndrome. He, you don't even know. Here, here, go to Change Skins. Change skins. Because with the Game of the Year edition, you can actually... So, these skins actually in the physical game that isn't the Game of the Year edition... You don't get these right away. You have to earn them or buy them. Game of the Year, you get everything. So you can choose whatever one you want. Wait, I can be a girl? You could be a woman. I wouldn't recommend... That's the one that I used. Amazing. Loved it. Why would Looks you not recommend me. the girl? Um, Because I'm a sexist. No, Wait, so because I didn't. I it, it looks okay, but I like the other ones better. Was so, you seemed offended when I said I was a second, so I wanted to backtrack quickly. <laughs> Wait, when when you pick one of these, can you go back and change it later? Yeah, you totally can. So can I start as Dark Ranger because I think it's cool, but eventually try like Lothariel or like yes. Okay. And just so you know, Lothariel actually not really a spoiler. She shows up as a real character later in the game. Oh, so it'd be kind of weird to have two Lotharials running around but I mean you know what do your thing who's the bright lord that an elf? you'll see you'll see he looks like an elf he is an elf you're correct got him you jerk okay fine let's start with dark ranger that's my favorite one uh what are we doing now so these so lord of the hunt the bright lord those are dlcs uh nemesis forge is actually what we made the video about that's what like so you make do we want to make a nemesis uh, you don't need to now. That's but more but would it be cool to make one? Uh, well, I don't know actually how much it carries over to the main game. Yeah, I ignored you. Yeah, that's a good call. Nemesis system, I... Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> new missions available. What are we doing here? So, basically, if you press the uh, trackpad, not trackpad, but like the center pad, so then you go R2. Why are we in the world? This is all of the people that are like... You're being extremely loud. You're hurting my ears. I'm so sorry. These are the ranks of the uh, Sauron's army. So, the guy on the left is your greatest nemesis right now. How would we know that? We haven't done anything. Exactly. That's why it's good to do it at the end. Like, after you beat the game. Oh, so we shouldn't do this yet? No. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. It was here, on the slopes of Mount Doom, that the Dark Lord Sauron was defeated by a last alliance of men and elves. It is here that for two and a half thousand years the rangers of Gondor stood watch, guarding against a nameless threat that all had forgotten. The rangers of Gondor! And the strength Stop of it. Gondor faded, the power of Sauron grew in darkness. He has returned to Mordor. Shadow and flame have fallen on the Black Gate, and no mortal man can stand in its path. So he always had the best character design. He looks really cool. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Make sure we're on the same page. Yeah, I... Why is he being such a pussy about it? Is a perfect swing for killing chicken. Wouldn't want to hurt you. It'll take a lot more than that. <laughs> Dear Hyle, the mighty chicken killer. Come on. Come on. Show your father what you have, huh? So we're fighting the mighty chicken killer? You really are. T 
Teach him what's good. Can I kill him? Abuse your son. Is this my son? <laughs> yes. Abuse it. Okay, good. Put him into place. Can I, like, hit him? Oh, uh, eventually. You know, you're a natural at this. Now you can attack. You are murdering... <laughs> you're murdering yourself. Easy, son. You're a bad dad. <laughs> Have you no. If he had learned to fight better, he wouldn't have been dead. Hmm. Do you feel like Dare Hyle is the worst character in Lord Ganon? No. <laughs> I do. Get to work. Oh, yeah. You hold for you hold. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Bad tips. <laughs> I am I am the great acrobat. <laughs> you're father of Darehile. You're killing your son again. Darehile's father, the great acrobat. <laughs> Not for long with you as his dad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Kill him. Do it. Did you just try to kick him? Did you see him? He just tried to kick him. Yeah, what a jerk. Okay, brace well, yourself. There's that? more. What? Grab him. Give what? him a good old grabby. Nap. Grab him. Boom. Bang. Bang. Throw him into the fire. So this is essentially just a clone of the Batman combat. Mm, kind of. There are some really nice upgrades, actually. So if you're in the middle... So you say you press... Over sure. Right, too much. No, but say you're in the middle of combat, and you are in the middle of a combo, and you press square to attack, but then a guy's going to hit you before you finish the attack... No matter what. Oh, I just dislocated my arm. Brilliant work. These orcs are much stronger than any we've ever seen. They're not orcs, they're orcs. They're far worse. There's too many. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Keep her safe. I'll be right behind you. Go. They're not orcs, they're orcs. <laughs> Getting real tired of you. Am I dead? You are banished from death. Damn, dude. So what I'm getting out of this is he does not care that his son's dead. But it, he lost that sweet booty, and that's a problem. You <laughs> no. But before before the cutscene, I was gonna say, when you're in combat and like you're in the middle of a strike, but you're gonna get hit, you can press triangle at any point, it'll counter it. Instead of in what Batman. a creep! <laughs> he's he's just lurking. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Alien. This is beautiful. Where did you find it? The I still have a few friends left in Gondor. Did you talk to my father? Yes, I did. And nothing has changed. He's still very stubborn. I say we go anyway. Dear I will not come willingly. There must be a better life than this. Not now. But soon. I'm just so tired of hiding here, Talion. We must hide now, or we are both dead. Come on. So I'm stealthing it up with her? Oh yeah, you are. So you were telling me that you think it is different. Yes, there are some... It's really similar. You're going to see a lot of similarities between Assassin's Creed and Batman. That's always been the big comparison. There's a lot of... Between the uh, climbing and the um, parkour in this... That's really similar to Assassin's Creed. There are some really cool assassinations, some great combat. The combat flow system is basically 
really similar to Batman with a few tweaks and upgrades and obviously its own touch, but it does a really good job. The stealth is phenomenal. Put the sword down, Ranger. So am I a Ranger? Yes. I'm a Ranger of Gondor! <laughs> Black Hand wants him alive! Take her! Doesn't seem like a great thing to do if you want someone alive. What if you died of blood loss? There's major arteries in your hand. Listen, we don't need surgeons in this game, okay? <laughs> See for yourself. <gasps> now, do you believe me, Ranger? What has happened to me? You are banished from death, cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. Curse binds us together within the walls of Arda. If what you say is true, then how do we break this curse? We find the one who cast it on us. The Black Hand of Sauron. So we actually stay in Mordor, right? Yes. We don't go to... Do we go to Middle-earth? Like well, the... Middle-earth outside of Mordor? No, you're pretty much within Mordor. You go. To, you travel to another place later, but for now you're in Mordor. What about in 2? Are you in... Because the queen... The, the spider queen is in Middle-earth, not in Mordor. This looks familiar. Well, I think all of it is a part of Middle-earth. Like, mm -hmm. Mordor is within Middle-earth. That's so cute. The whole world is Middle Earth, and then Mordor is within that. We should be looking at the Salmarillion <laughs> to figure this out. You, you're a monster. <laughs> so basically, Ooh, double check the Salmarillion. That wasn't even close. On page thirty-two of the Salmarillion, you could see that the cannon is quite crafty. <laughs> you sound awful. Harry, cast Lumos on the Sauron <laughs> of Black Death. That's the wrong franchise. Eh, close enough. <laughs> but basically what's happened so far is the Black Hand, the Hammer. Ooh. We missed one of you at Narcos, eh? An easy mistake to fix. Ooh. Why is this guy deformed? Oh, that's right. He's an Uruk. You, it's Uruk, not Uruk. Oh, he's an Uruk. <laughs> Ooh, a first-person shooter, dude. You wanna you wanna hold it so you can charge it and it's more powerful. Yeah, maybe not tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it won't happen again. Ooh. Ooh, I'm Batman. But basically, the black hand is the one who killed you and your family. 
He's the one who uh, cast the spell to bring back um, the elf guy that's with you right now. And banished you from death, essentially. So far, that's what we know so far. Also, other bad guys. The hammer and um, the tower are the two other guys. They need to go after and murder. You just threw him off a cliff. They deserved it, dude. You're Can we better. pick up weapons and stuff, or do we get the same sword the whole time? No, you do. We just upgrade it. <laughs> he just takes our lunch buddy right here. <laughs> Jerk. Go back to him. Hmm. So this is the elf god that we're with? Uh, he's not really a god. He's a wraith. Oh, whoops. Grab him. Interrogate. So you want to hold it. Hold that juicy button and give him a good axe. Gain some intel. Do it. What do you know of the Black Hand of Sauron? He is a fiend. Made of thin air. What more? What are we doing to the inside of him? A slave I am. I'm not entirely sure. Swears he fought him. I sold him for a keg of grog to Gimu the slaver. Oh, well. Now you to go visit Gimoob. Gim. Gimoob? Gimoob the slaver. There he is. Now you know. His title, The Slaver, gives you clues about his role in the Uruk Society. <laughs> you? Oh, wow. I would assume that he's a slaver. Thank you. <laughs> that's so freaking much. That's just much. a cover. You've also learned this power rating. So that just tells you how difficult... If you roll the D12s, you can get an accurate prediction of his power rating. <laughs> Listen. P for power. <laughs> but we'll tell you power next to it, too. Yeah, we will. It's convenient. Just in case you're stupid. <laughs> it's good to know. Time to mark that target. So he's a captain. And yeah, like, so we can either kill him or take him, right? Isn't that um, how the nemesis system works? Uh, okay, I guess we're just letting him go. You haven't unlocked branding yet, though. So you can't brand him. You can just, like, take him over. I like how he's talking about trusting an orc, but it was an Uruk! You. <laughs> it's true. Alright, so I'm just standing Now here you're now. in. Oh, here we go. So, yes, red, icon red icons are not crucial for the story, but they do help you to kind of take down this nice is this one trophy. Of them? What's that? What is this red thing on the map down there? That is actually something that will advance the story. No, 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 down right here. Oh, that's a plant. So a plant, actually, that's good to know, too. So, um, Should I go down there to get it? Uh, well, it what it does is it replenishes your health. So, yeah, you do have a little bit of damage on you. So any plant, basically, like you'll see there's the green one there, um, the white one, and actually that really, that full white one that has, like, the spikes on the bottom, yeah. that's actually a collectible. They've got, like... 30 of those, and then there's objects, and then there's 40 of those. And it's oh. basically like the Riddler trophies of this game. So there's... we ought to go get that, then. We ought to just get those as we pass them. You can, yeah. And they're really easy to find, too. So if you press L1, it'll take you to the Wraith world. And then it should show you, actually, if you go, it's behind you, it looks like. So it's not going to be on these forge towers. Oh. And actually, it looks like it's underneath the bridge. So it'll be underneath the bridge. Is where a lot Can we of... take fall damage? No, you don't. No. They do the Assassin's Creed dive, pretty much. Every Where time. is it? There it is. Oh, okay. Yep. And then eventually, by the end of it, it'll make an image, and you'll ah. see it. And then you'll—it's a big spray painting of a penis that <laughs> Sauron put on the side of the wall. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Got him. He thinks he's funny. He is funny. He is kind of funny. So then, yeah. Then there's uh, random slaves around that you can save. Um, Who are these guys? Those are slaves. Don't kill the slaves. <laughs> They're trying to be stealthy. Give him a chance. You just murdered oh, no. <laughs> You murdered a slave. Oh, no. He's fine. Look, he's fine. What do you mean? He just took a blade to the face. Can, wait, wait, wait. Can I interrogate him? No. He's running from you. He's scared of you. 
And he just bullied him. He's <laughs> kicking him while he's down. And Uruk looked like the good guy there. He's too away from that slave, man. You, you're a master of combo. Bang. Just throwing him around. Oh. Oh. Good kill. So then, yeah, if you go, there's the story mode, which is the yellow icons on your mini-map, and then there's the red icons, which will, like, help you to, um, like, say, for instance, later in the game, you can brand, stop teabagging the Uruk, when, when, you, when, you, when you brand an Uruk later in the game, um, you can send him to go after another captain, and then you can help them, like this guy, this is a captain. So he's, he's one of the guys that you'll see in your Sauron's army, like, thing when you press the center button. And then you can try to kill him. And then once you kill him, he's gone. And sometimes, like, when you die, new Uruks come in and take over, and it's just kind of a cycle. But the more you kill, the better. So why, why the more you kill, the better if more are just going to come in and take his place? It really, I guess it doesn't matter as much. Like, some of it is just achievements. But, like, the ones that you want to take over and the ones that really matter are the war chiefs. Which um, are the basically the kings of the army at this point. And so you're going to want to brand them and take over all of them. Because once you have them, you kind of run the game. And you're taking over everything. So Okay. And you can, I think it's, at if you wanted to and you wanted to take the time, you could go and brand every single captain. By the way, what should I do here? Well, there's the execution, which is really nice. Um, um, I think I should get that. Yeah, I would do that one. And it's basically the Batman where you, like, you would break their arm, typically in Batman. But instead, you press circle and triangle together, and it's vicious. Bang! And that's what you do. And they are just gnarly. So then, then you kill this guy. You can kill him. So yeah, some of these guys have perks, too. So like, hate of defeat... He gets angry, and he gets his health back. Yeah, well, that's not going to help him for too long. Nope. So, yeah, if you just keep ripping them. And executions, too. Like, when they get green, that's when their health is down to a little okay. point. So then once you have that down, give him a good old execution. And then he's dead. There it is. Got him. So you murdered a captain, then you pick up runes. Which will give you perks. You can buy those. Um, and then once you have runes. And actually, I think with the Game of the Year Edition 2, you start out with two epic runes, which should are we, really good. Should we equip that? Yes. And then you can buy more later, too. Um, but yeah, like you start out with epic runes on each weapon with what the Game of the Year Edition. What should we put here? Um, I wouldn't do that one right away. I would do that one. Hidden Blade? Yep. Yep. And then for your bow, too. Uh, did you pull it on your bow? I, I, did. I did, but I didn't look at what it was. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, that one's a good one. What so then, yeah, one? just your sword. Your sword's next. Um, Actually, you get a couple for your sword. Wow. So. I think that's good. That's a good one. What's the... If you go over... Well, no. Ooh, that one's... Mm, you can do extra damage against captains. That's pretty good. There's one where your, sto like your sword starts on... Oh, that's a nice I thought one. Thought it was this one. The the very far right one. Ignite, ignite enemies. Right, the one on the very right though is really good because if you lose and you start dying in combat, you'll get a last chance. So then like, they'll try to kill you, and then you can actually like not die and you get some health back and you get like a second chance basically. Okay, that's cool. So do we get horses or anything, or we have to run all the time? You run all the time, and actually when you unlock uh, towers, you like unlock them and you can fast travel around the map. Okay. So you'll see, like, when you forge a tower, um, that opens up, like, the map then is completely unveiled. You can see all the collectibles, all the planets, everything. And then um, you also can fast travel there. So that's really nice. Well, I did hit triangle. There it is. See, and then it, like, interrupts you midway. Genius. It can be really frustrating, though. Because there are some captains that are really hard to beat, and I like that dark, uh, dark ranger, dark warrior. It is cool, yeah. Skin. Give him a good rip. Oh, damn. oh! So here comes... This is where the last chance comes in. What do I do? Move the cursor into the circle and then just press whatever icon it gives you. And then you get another chance. A little bit of life back. And then try not to die. Okay. 
pretty basic. You can jump over guys like you would in Batman typically too, so if you double tap X, you'll jump over them. Oh. Okay, yeah, so this is cool. You're getting the flow down. Trying to. Brilliant work. Oh! Yeah, the kills are the best in this game. So then... Uh, Who's this guy over there? That would be an archer. So he, if you press L2, you should be able to see an archer. Yep, there he is. So you can actually just shoot him down with your bow. If you hit him with a headshot, they die every time. Oh, it's a captain. You're about to kill another captain. Am I? You are. So I can just keep doing this? Until you run out of shots. He doesn't like pain. Well, jeez. He has a hate of it. That's unique. Is that a gun? Oh. <laughs> you can get machine guns in Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> He's doing okay. So you could stealth this guy. Maybe? Maybe? Because some guys... So, another thing, good thing to know, too. Some guys have invulnerability to range. So, like, a bow and arrow won't do anything. Some guys have an invulnerability to stealth. Some to combat. So, like, executions and just going after them and fighting them won't do the trick. So you have to be strategic about it. Um, so there's certain ways to kill guys, and like some guys have certain fears, and so it's it's pretty good. So why did that not hit him? Did he have like a invulnerability to it? No, no, it'll show up if it says invulnerability. He actually just uh, you did a good chunk of his health. Okay. Then if you just keep ripping him. Juicy execution. So are you a big fan of Lord of the Rings, actually? I really do like it. I haven't read the books, by any means I'm actually going through The Hobbit right now, but, um, like, the Lord of the Rings books are just too much. They are insane. And I've oh, heard... yeah. I've heard they're amazing, and there's some really good characters in there that you don't see, um, in the movies, but I've also heard, like, J.R.R. Tolkien is a very descriptive, like, he helped write the dictionary, so... Should I go after this guy? You can. He's getting his health back, though. Let's so, just I mean, move on. Yeah. But, like, the books, um, I've heard, can be very over-the-top descriptive at times, and that's they why are. they're so long. They are. Even The Hobbit was. Right. Because so I like, read The Hobbit. Good book. But. It's good, yeah, but at times it's like, wow. So, I mean, it's it's obviously amazing, but I don't know if I could read through all of them. I had a This doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. Why use your human side to track the Uruk? I see more than any mortal. Put her back.